Hey guys, I just needed to do this uh, video real quick. I wanted to tell you um, what kept me strong all the years, like I said, my whole entire life, grew up in the truth. What kept me strong for 46 years? It started out when I was a very, 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 very young girl. Very young girl. I had conversations with God. I would stand in my with in my bedroom window and stare out the window and speak to him. But anyway, I've always had an attachment, a close attachment. So as I got older, and of course, after I got baptized, um, you know, my prayers would get stronger and more attached and lead me closer and closer in my relationship with God. A couple of years ago, I was talking to one of my best friends and I told her, I remember, <laughs> I forgot what we were talking about, but she was, she was kind of you know, surprised and making, not really making fun of me, but kind of like, oh, she said she wake up and she say good morning. And I'm like, yes, I do. Like, it's not funny. <laughs> we were laughing, but um, it was like, oh, you ain't know? Like, yeah, that's what I do, you know? So, I mean, that's how close we should be to the point where you greet your creator or your higher source when you wake up in the morning. And again, you know, whatever that means for you, do what's best for you. But in other words, start your day like that. And that's what I did. And then a different time, I told her that I envision Jehovah and Jesus when I'm praying. And she's like, you don't just, you you don't just, you know, talk to Jehovah. And I'm like, well, yeah, but I'm, well, I mean, sometimes I address both of them. That's what I told her. I mean, the way we were taught was that, you know, he's Michael the Archangel. Before he came down for his earthly role. And then once he was resurrected back to heaven, he was Michael the Archangel again. So I'm like, that's who I see when I pray. And I envision them as well as the other angels, as well as the 144,000. This was like my vision every time I prayed. Of course, my vision has changed somewhat which is very personal. So I just wanted to share that with you. Your visual is everything. Your thoughts are everything. That is what allows you to have the faith needed to sustain you through these days that bring so much stress. If you allow it. Otherwise, and like I just told one of my friends, attach yourself. Attach yourself to who you're praying to. Literally, just like think that you have a literal cord, like an umbilical cord, and attach it from your heart to their heart. <clears throat> Once you do that, a feeling of peace just comes all over you. But you need to do it in a way where you're, again, however that works for you. And allowing yourself to really feel the presence by just greeting your creator. That's it. That's all it really takes. Completely attaching yourself after a greeting. And begin to pour out your heart and your mind. And the feeling that you get from that. The feeling that you get from that is not all your own. 
it is a response, a confirmation that you are successful when you're praying. <laughs> so anyway, I hope this helps someone tonight. Please tell people about my channel or share the video or whatever, you know, just if you think this is going to help someone. All right. You guys have a good night.